Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Ryan and in today's video I am going to be reacting to someone that I haven't reacted to so far, uh, Jolly Gilbert. So he is a an emo, um, <laughs> he's an emo, he's an emo uh, songwriter, uh, also like a, a vlogger um, personality on YouTube. Um, I believe he was part of, is it My Digital Escape? Some of that, I'll, I'm not, not a big fan in, in a sense of like I haven't been following uh, what he's done massively before, but I know who he is. Um, I know he went on tour with Say We Can Fly um, a couple years or a few years ago. So, uh, yeah, he's my kind of style of music. I haven't actually listened to any of his songs though, so this is going to be a new experience for me. So, um, yeah, this song's called Vampire. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Right off the bat, I like how it's uh, like I said, it's minor scale, so you've got that very much um, like the, the kind of note pattern as well. Minor scale, where it's like um, like lots more half steps as opposed to like. Uh, full tone sort of jumps between the notes and stuff like that um yeah it's very eerie obviously there's some drums in this so it's going to kick in uh, any second so let's uh, see what happens can't stop all the things you do you're such a wreck it's like i never know the truth Take it back the way you want it. No disregard, it's up. What I like about this um, is that it's when it comes in, it doesn't like come in too too hard initially. Um, so obviously it comes in with like the guitar and the drums, but the way it's mixed is very um, how do I put it? It's kind of like a seventy percent at the moment. I'd say like the, the vocals are quite soft. Uh, there's distortion and stuff there, but there's nothing overly sma like smashing around, like you know that kind of thing. So um, it leaves room for the song to kind of develop. So it's good. The path that's haunted. What a shame. What a shame. That falsetto nice is really nice. Let me rewind that. What a shame. What a shame. It's, um, I like that it's kind of different. So it's not like, um, the, a lot of the stuff I listen to is very like, like when when it kick, kicks in, it's just like full on like really vocal fried, distorted vocals. It's um, really projected vocals, you know, it's very in your face, like bam sort of thing. Uh, this has kind of got more of a mellow-ish vibe, I wouldn't say mellow. Um, so it kind of allows you to kind of get in the vibe a little bit more without having this kind of in your face uh, kind of kind of sitch. So let's, uh, let's see what, what's next. Okay, I, what I like about this is that, as well, is it's kind of changing. So there's a thing when with songwriting that a lot of um, artists do, including myself, where things are always getting introduced um, and things aren't always like straight. So for example, that chorus was like um, very, I don't know if syncopated is the word I'm trying to find, but um, 
yeah, it's, it's a lot going on with the instrumentation, so it's not just like boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, like throughout the whole song. Um, and the same thing with this verse as well, when it has like the kind of space with the guitar sort of like uh, muted pluck um, sort of thing. Um, yeah, it, it's nice that it's getting switched up. It keeps you keeps you engaged. Oh, you've taken what's left of me. Now I'm starting to beg and plead. Oh, he's in a um, a wheelchair. That's just dope. <laughs> left of me. Now I'm starting to beg and plead. My body's getting colder. Now I feel like I am a goner. What a shame. What a shame. That we I think I get the vibe that this was filmed in a room where the drums were really loud and the music was yeah not as projected as the, the drums because <laughs> it, it fits the vibe because obviously they're, they're very kind of like oh you know like like that kind of vibe but um <laughs> the way he's hitting the drums is like very like even when he's doing the hi-hat beat it's like like that kind of thing when yeah but it, either way i mean that's a cool kit though that's bright loads of colors cool <laughs> what a shame that we I just want to see if that's a... Did he do the fill? He missed the fill, but to be fair, it's a music video, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I like the t so the tattoos are awesome. Like he's got the bat thing on his, or is it a spider, uh, or both maybe? By the looks of that, actually, uh, on his neck, uh, and also that guitar strap, the red, it's really cool. It stands out because obviously he's wearing, he's got black hair, like black everything, and it's just yeah. I don't know why I chose to comment on that, but cool. <laughs> I just realised in the performance shots he's got red eyes, bro. That's fucking dope. I thought I saw that earlier, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to be wrong. But mate, that's. I wish I could wear contacts. Like they just made me like the thought of putting stuff in my eyes. It's just like, oh, but yeah, no, it's, that's fucking cool. <laughs> He's, I mean, it's in the nicest way. He's got a really soft voice. Um, so I think his voice excels, particularly in the bits where there's not a lot of kind of velocity going on, or like, like a lot of um, stuff that's kind of bringing up the, the energy sort of thing. I think this bit here, like it's just his voice and like one guitar, um, it's just fucking, mate, it really suits his voice. <laughs> My pulse just stopped, but I still look alive. I'm one of you now. I don't want to be like this. It's cool as well when, like, in these music videos and stuff, when people, like the artists, actually do some of these act and stuff. Some of these acting stuff, the acting and and stuff is probably what I meant to say. Um, I guess like when you're kind of like a YouTube personality as well, and you do the vlogs, you do the music, and you do um, other sorts of videos like around that kind of world. Um, I guess it's kind of a thing that might almost come second nature, kind of doing stuff like this and being 
kind of um, confident to do this kind of thing on the camera. But yeah, it's I've always liked this sort of thing when you see this kind of acting and narrative when it comes from the actual singer or the band. So it's cool. Yes. this bit because it once again in the nicest way it was weird like it's not the, the sort of thing you'd expect to really happen uh that kind of progression but do you know what like it's things like that that make you think okay that's different and it, you know that kind of sticks out and you remember that in the song so. Sink your teeth right into me as i take my one last breath So here's your wish as you lay my body to rest. I definitely like his voice when it's um when it's softer, a hundred percent when it's, it's all down here and it's yeah that's that's dope. And like I said right from the start, one of the first things I called out was the minor scale, so when the notes were kind of you know a lot more half steps or semitone kind of changes, um in, within the scale as opposed to like you know like major scales are like happy kind of like um you know big bigger jumps for the majority of the of the scale and stuff like that so it's there was some cool like chords and stuff going on in there as well um obviously i don't have my guitars to have they're right back there um but it sounded like there was, there was obviously there was minor chords i don't know if there was a um diminished chord or not it sounded like that's a potential Either that or it's like a, a sus minor or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, really, really good song. It's um, like, like I'll be open and honest, not my go-to thing. Um, I do like things that are very in-your-face, belty, um, really, really high energy, like fucking full-on. Like that's just what I enjoy. But in a sense of this, it's really nice. It's refreshing. Um, this is the kind of thing that I could come back and listen to again and again. Um, I didn't dislike the song, I didn't think it was alright, I think it was a good song, so um, yeah, cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my reaction of Vampire by Johnny Gilbert. Um, I think I'm going to have to maybe do some more reactions uh, from his music. Um, yeah, it's something I need to delve into, and this song might be completely different to others, so maybe I'll find the next one I like, will I'll enjoy a lot more than this one, and blah blah, but to give you my conclusive thoughts it's uh yeah really really solid song uh he's a good singer great voice great writing and uh, it was it was refreshing as well and it's nice to hear something that kind of fits that emo kind of vibe so lovely stuff all right thank you guys uh leave a like comment subscribe and follow the socials suggest the video if there's another song you want me to listen to of his comment it below and uh yeah peace out guys bye bye